London, home of the most eccentric and unique works of art in the world. East London is where the coolest art is gathered. Shoreditch walls, in particular, have become the perfect spot to express people's creativity. However, there are two sides of the same kind. Shoreditch has always been considered a poor area. Only low paid workers and freelance artists were mainly attracted. Until the artist itself made the area what it is today, hip and trendy. However, it's been many years now the new investors are trying to gentrificate the area with tall skyscrapers and unaffordable buildings. But what about all the young street artists that build their homes, the stories in these walls? James Cochran, aka Jimmy C, is one of the many street artists who've been painting the area for more than five years, witnessing the changing face of shortage. Half of his work is already gone due to the increased demand for the construction of shops and restaurants, leaving the future of street art hanging in the balance. When you paint on the street, there's no guarantee your work is going to last anyway. That's a fact. Um, that's, that's the nature of painting on the street. You know, whether that's maybe another artist painting over it, whether the council cleaning it off, whether whatever. So th that's something I'm used to anyway. But you know, something new has been happening lately to, my, to the walls I've painted. It's not, they've been disappearing, not because someone else has painted over them, but because the whole wall has been demolished and removed and then replaced. So yeah, now the area is physically being altered. Um, so that is, that's something quite, that is part of the gentrification process. The beauty of street art is the freedom the artists have to paint whatever they desire. With the so-called gentrification, this freedom is fading away. Hence, artists tend to be heading to the west part of the city, which is cheaper. The Kra is one of them. He's a Greek urban surreal artist based in London and has been working on the scene for more than 15 years. Um, it's a shame really because I miss the old shortage. It was more, more fun, you know, I used to live there at the time and uh, it had such a big energy. I still go there, I still paint in the area. Um, but um, it used to be like it had more more of, of attitude. It became too too expensive, and um, and like they destroying now all the studios and making flats. So it's um, it's kind of really impossible for for um, for artists to find affordable studios in in London. Shoreditch is still a hub for creativity and innovation, giving the street artists something to live for. The works are full of color and passion bring the streets alive, giving the area a reason to stand up from the crowd. But there's still a question mark over what will happen next.